Hi guys, it's Suzy again from RedScore.com. In this video tutorial, I will show you how you guys can enable HTTPS on your website. I will start from scratch. First, I will um, host my website on GoDaddy. Then I will install WordPress on it. And uh, then finally, I will show you how you guys can push your website uh, on uh, Cloudflare and enable HTTPS that is provided by Cloudflare. So this is what we are going to do. In this video and uh, for those who don't know what uh, SSL is it's basically the certificates um, that uh, can help us uh, to enable HTTPS on our website this is a secure protocol for transferring uh, web content and communicating with the server and um, this HTTPS uh, is very important when uh, you want to create uh, e-commerce websites because um, when users submit their credentials password information and uh, their credit card numbers uh, when they send that https encrypts that and uh, uh, then send it back to server and then server decrypt it and uh, save that uh, data into the uh, database but if your website is not uh, enabled with HTTPS then uh, those uh, credit card information and those sensory information will travel back to server uh, in plain text and uh, uh, everyone can read it uh, from the network and uh, they can steal uh, the credit card information and uh, other stuff right so this is uh, very important for e-commerce websites and uh, this is very important for uh, seo as well so uh, first of all as you can see that uh, my website is not working so first of all let's see how we can host it on my host getter page first of all log in to your host getter cpanel and uh, click on this link add on domains now it is going to ask me to enter my domain name here uh, which is nothing but uh, linuxjunkie.co So this is it and uh, as you can see that it uh, already put this uh, subdomain and uh, the stuff and uh, we want to create uh, FTP count for this as well and uh, let me type my password and let's click on add domain now our website is ready let's go back If you guys have already set up your website uh, you guys can skip this process because uh, I am showing this from scratch for those who don't know how to do this let me update my name server information to change the name servers of uh, your domain name just go to your registrar I'm using GoDaddy for hosting my domains uh, let's go to my account and in domain tab different different domains will appear uh, we are interested in this uh, linuxjunkie.co domain go to manage dns setting and uh, from there you guys uh, can go to change name server click on it click on custom and uh, add uh, the name server that you want to change uh, the name server of uh, host cater is this and uh, here is the second name server click on save it will save that name server and uh, after that uh, our name servers are updated I'm going to log in to HostGator using my SSH but you can use a FTP account to transfer the domain name right uh, I'm just going to download uh, the WordPress from uh, wordpress.org uh, using SSH now let's uh, list files we are interested in going to 
the public directory public html and uh, now here we can from here we can go to linux chunky linux chunky.co and uh, here we can see that uh, our website is uh, completely empty we can download uh, that uh, uh, wordpress in this directory using uh, wg get command and it is from http now we can uh, extract uh, this uh, zip file using command here or we can just go to our hosting and uh, go to file manager and from there we can go to linux and git.co directory here it is let's uh, extract files from this zip file refresh it we can just delete it and uh, we can just copy this whole thing and move back to the Linux chunky directory our wordpress directory is empty let's go to our main directory and uh, let's delete this wordpress directory so yeah that's it this is our wordpress website now let me create uh, the database for this wordpress website uh, to create database just go to mysql databases and from there just type uh, the data database name that you want to create i want to create uh, linux junkie right create this database go back and uh, now create a user for this database so that uh, that user can access this database and uh, this is again i'm going to call it linux the password for the linux junkie database create this user user is created now the final step is that uh, we have to assign this user uh, this Linux junkie user to Linux junkie database so that uh, this user can access this database only select all privileges because uh, we are allowing this user to do anything that he wants to do on our website Okay guys, uh, our website is uh, online. Now we can just install it. First select your website language. Uh, yeah, we have all of these information. Just click on let's go. Uh, database name is, uh, is this. And uh, the username for this database is this and the password for this is um, this one hostname is hostname okay run and install site title is just simple linux junkie and uh, i want to create a account with username azim tariq and the password that i want to use is so the email for this for example is azim
so as you can see that uh, our website is live uh, but the little problem is that it's not on uh, HTTPS first you have to install few plugins let's add uh, new plugin and install uh, the plugin name which is uh, cloud cloudflare and uh, the plugin that you want to install is the flexible ssl the plugin is installed do not uh, activate this thing now let's go to cloudflare so if you guys don't know how to uh, create account on it is very very simple just go to the sign up page and uh, follow the instructions and uh, create account i'm going to log in to this account click on this add side button and uh, type the website name that you want to add on it this is the website that i want to add type the url of this website and click on begin scan cloudflare has uh, many other features it's always good idea to use cloudflare on top of uh, your website uh, because uh, you can uh, manage uh, many things you can uh, make your website uh, secure from hackers if your website goes offline uh, you guys uh, can use uh, cloudflare to serve the visitors of your website using the old uh, version of your website so this is very handy now click on continue because i told you this is a uh, free you guys uh, can pay it uh, for example 20 dollars per month but we are interested in free plan and uh, it's really really awesome plan now we just have to update uh, the name servers and make sure to remove all blank spaces from the name server itself now click on save after updating name servers just click on continue now recheck it again and uh, it should update the status so our website is on cloudflare now all we have to do is go to your website and uh, enable this uh, cloudflare fix ssl so this plugin is enabled now now go to settings and generals and uh, add https here in this box not in this box uh, in the website address box right and uh, save the changes now last thing that we have to do is we have to enable SSL on our website by going to crypto the SSL is selected off here just uh, select uh, this flexible and uh, wait for a few seconds then it will show this uh, green box here after this just go to your website and uh, refresh it right now uh, the http version of our website is working uh, but for example if we visit our website using https it will also work so as you guys can see that uh, our simple version is also working and um, https version is also working so our website uh, uh, is running on https install this plugin 
and activate it uh, what basically this plugin will do is that uh, it will force your website to redirect to HTTPS so as you can see that uh, it redirects me to HTTPS version of my website this is the certificate information that we are currently using so I hope you guys enjoy this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and please don't forget to give big thumbs up to this video if you really enjoy and uh, learn something from it and uh, share it with your friends and uh, subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching